This is Monowheel Tourism. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> the wheels are fully charged, S22 Extreme. The weather outside looks not too shabby. Definitely better than in Poland. See the palm tree there? So let's get ready to rumble. leaving our hotel premises right there. And now we're gonna meet up with uh, Serge, who is our guide here, and my friend at Mono Nice Tourism. And there he is. <laughs> Hi, Hello, Serge. Everyone. Hi, Serge. Where are you going to take us today? I'm going to bring you today for some popular places in Nice that I figure out and some hidden ones that you've never seen, probably. We have, I think, six places today planned out in our journey, starting out right there. You're going to love it. Stick around. The water is super azure today. Well, it's the quote azure anyway. And Serge, Serge, I wanted to ask you, why do you like EUC tourism so much, monowheel tourism? Oh, uh, really, I think that like unicycles are the best vehicles to like have a kind of tourism. You can choose where you want to go. You can go like a, on a bicycle path as a, like a bicycle or on a road as a motorcycle or uh, even like here where like a, as a pedestrian definitely and you can stop everywhere you want just like to see a sights yeah and uh, yeah that, that, that's why it's the best yeah I, I have to say that i love that as well uh, especially the part that we go, go somewhere we're done we go we hop on our eucs and we go further that's it it's so simple no need to check for timetables of buses no need to check for parking we don't get super sweaty as on bicycles and it's not as enclosing as riding a motorcycle because you know we're just we're just strolling around we're standing here nobody's you know uh, annoyed at us we're just minding our own business euc tourism will this flourish in 2024 let's see Here it is. Look at that. Who loves waterfalls? <laughs> I love it. A question I get a lot in my DMs is, uh, well, how do I get those here? And <laughs> usually I get the question, how did you put it on a plane? And the truth is, you don't put it on a plane. You either get it here right away, or you travel via car or a train. Look at that water, by the way. So pretty. <laughs> it's making me a little wet though. Anyway, uh, so what we did here with uh, Serge is that this wheel, the first one, the Kingsong S22, is available here for rent. What's the price to rent uh, you see here, Serge? Well, for now, it's 30 euro a day. So for 30 euro a day, you get either a Kingsong S22 
or Ex Extreme Ball Commander HS. And the second wheel is uh, provided by my E-Wheel and Serge just received it here in a box. So I sent this wheel from my dear friend uh, Raphael Sersen in uh, Paris and Serge received it here so I could ride a my E-Wheel e e -wheel here in uh, beautiful Nice Côte d'Azur. And then uh, the third wheel is Serge's personal wheel. Check out my video about it. It's a custom made wheel if you're interested in that. It's for sale. And it's for sale. And it's for sale now. Yeah, you can get it, really. It's 35 kilo and 3,200 watt hours with suspension. DM Serge about it. We are in the port of Nice and to me this really feels like you know tourism of the future not only are we riding those one-wheeled devices but also we communicate with one another via those intercoms so you know it could, because it's difficult just to get to the person every time especially when riding and talk like this you don't ever, always have the space we just talk through these and then I have search in my head which I not always want, but I do. So just to demonstrate, this is not a fluke. Uh, Serge, can you please put your um, right foot up? Yeah, cool, put it down. Left foot up, perfect. Sir, uh, and now, uh, Joanna, can you put your... Okay, okay, put it down, put it, I can put it down. And Joanna, can you put your right foot up? <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. So we just communicate through these, uh, they have plenty of range and they last for a day easy. I have like 50% battery left after a full day of uh, exploring here. So yeah, this just makes us the Robocop tourists of the future, I guess. Am I putting too many words in my mouth? I don't know. But anyway, let's go to Cap Ferrat. Okay, so right here is the bay of uh, Villefranche. Really, really beautiful place here. Maybe you can get a better view now. There it is. So the thing I really like here that even on those kind of roads, traffic is very slow. So going between 30, 40 kilometers an hour on an electric unicycle is totally fine. But, sheesh, this view. And it's like, how, how long do we go here? Like 15 minutes? Yeah, yeah, like 10 to 15 minutes from, from the last place. Amazing. So yeah, not only are the views really relaxing and stress-free, but, you know, going on this road is also pretty stress-free. Going on bicycle paths is amazing. Yeah, it's uh, it could be Wheeler's Paradise, really. Could be. Mm. It is, you say it is. Of course you do. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's go there. We will go there to Cap Ferrat. But I think after the black one we can. Let's go.
right, we're almost uh, on the location. This is the Bay of Cap Ferrat. Really amazing spot. But it wouldn't be a wrong way video if we wouldn't do a jump. Hit it! Way! Let's go! All right, so this path is already looking very, very spe spectacular. What will we see at the end of this path search? Something unique and hidden. Something unique and hidden. Hmm. Serge is telling us that this is where the beautiful path begins. Mm -hmm. We will just need to cross a couple stairs and then enjoy the view. We tackle stairs like this. Joel, can you show us how, you, how we tackle stairs? Easy. Wow. So we decided to put the EUCs to the side, put the helmets to the side, freshen up a little and feel the ocean breeze. And this place is super, super unique. You said that even some locals don't know about it? Yeah, yeah, sure. What do you think people like the most here in this area in terms of like sites? On my opinion, it's like that you have everything in one place. You have like sea, you have mountains, you have like ruins, you have those views. Like, pretty, pretty bunch of everything. I mean, the places by themselves could be like a tourist destination, but having everything in one spot... Yeah, yeah, that's it. ...is mind-boggling. So let, let, let's go. Let's go really a bit closer to the sea here. This is very r rare wrong way footage. You never see me walk. <laughs> I am now in uh, twin camera mode with the Insta there. Yeah, we don't have a drone, we just have an Insta360 camera. 
And now we'll be heading right away from the sea, the sea level, into the mountains. There's a beautiful bike path in the, in the mountains. I guess Serge was saying it was anywhere between Ez and, in which city, Serge? And La Tourbie. Uh, so we're gonna go there and enjoy the views now to look at the sea from the top. <laughs> I'm ultra cyborg. <laughs> On a wheel, two cameras, and talking with the others via intercom. <laughs> wow, look at that. Whoa! I hope this uh, selfie stick doesn't fail on me now. <laughs> Alright, so on this particular wheel I can go up to maybe like 90 kilometers uh, with the style of riding we're, we're doing. It, it of course depends on the wheel, uh, but the thing is that with Serge, he is planning our routes so um, that um, we don't run out of battery midway. So he knows the places here, he knows like where to go, which path to take in order to have you know the exact route planned out. And it's not obvious here because there's dead ends, there's uh, you know, sudden deviation, as they call it here. All right, sir, so for today, what is the distance planned for today's route? I mean, uh, we have S22, we have uh, extreme, so it's like 70 kilometers max, I plan, plan yeah. Okay, and then this way we are just not carrying the chargers with us. I have a fast charger, but it weighs two kilos, so I didn't want it to put it into my um, backpack. So it's really a cool way of getting around. I mean, we leave the hotel with a full charge and then we have basically, you know, easily 70 kilometers of range, maybe 90 if we go, you know, a tad slower. And going downhill, we recharge. So yeah, it's, it's just very, very convenient to go around. We just pay, I, we don't even pay for electricity. I mean, if we would, that would be also fine because it's super cheap. And these views, like, come on, wow. Speaking about that, I think we need to put our jackets back on because the higher we go, the colder it gets. So let's stop by somewhere here at a beautiful spot just to put some, some more clothes. Yeah, I really like to see where we've been like minutes ago. There. Um, <laughs> there. And we keep on climbing. We got our jackets on. <laughs> All right, so there's bike paths and there is bike paths. So we are right now on the upper corniche. That's what those uh, streets are called here. There's a upper one, middle one, and the lower one. And yeah, the views here are just mind boggling. Serge, why did they make a bicycle path here? Mm, because it's cool, probably. I uh, don't know, maybe because it should be like that. Everywhere should be bicycle paths, especially on those like super view mountains, is it? Yes, you need to be the king of infrastructure yeah. globally. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Wow. So I guess right now there's nothing more for me to say than uh, that I will take out the Insert360 and uh, record a bit of riding. We're going direction La Tourbie. Oui. <laughs> So right now we are in the city of Col d'Ez. There's three S's. S's sur mer, 
as a V, yes, Serge, as V. There is as V, right? There's as sur mer, as V, and coldes. Will, yeah, yeah. So we are in the highest as of all the as's, and here the Tour de France is also happening. So right now we finished the first half sort of of the tour. Right there you can see the mountains and that's where we'll be heading later. And somewhere in the back you can also see snow on the, on the mountains if the view and the air is clear. So, uh, Serge, question for you. Um, how can someone arrange a tour with you here, a guided tour? Subscribe to my Instagram, Monanis Tourism. Type me for any wait, questions. Wait, wait. <laughs> Annoying cars. So again, uh, how can someone arrange a tour here with you? Uh, so type me in my Instagram, Modernist Tourism. Here will be a link, yeah? Yes. Here? No, no. The, yeah, the, wherever you point, there will up. be a link. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and t just type me and we'll figure out. Awesome. For how many people you can do like a guided tour? Uh, for now, I have three wheels uh, on my place now. I think we can manage for more people, like four or up to six probably. So then you can go with your buddies or you can go with your spouse or with whoever you want to bring on a journey and uh, show this on an EUC. I mean, come on. There's also very few people now around because it's uh, low season. So on one side, a lot of restaurants are closed, but on the other side, very low traffic and uh, it's not too hot here. Like I do actually enjoy wearing a jacket and then layering down. Right, so we are 507 meters above sea level. Joe has, how much battery do you have? 50% it was showing here, 50. On my Bigot wheel I have 60% um, battery. We're on the top of the mountain, so we'll see how much battery we have when we get down the mountain. I mean, I love it. No disc brakes, just regen. All right, so here's the verdict. We rode for over eight kilometers. A little bit of it was uphill as well, but I have still 60% battery, actually 61%. So a percent more during eight kilometers. And Joe has 49%. So we didn't gain a lot, but we didn't lose anything. So that's pretty great. Okay, so now we have a small change of plans. We will actually do the um, food part at the hotel and uh, we'll charge up the wheels a little bit because maybe we'll have a special treat for you at the end of the video. A really amazing abandoned castle and ruins. So, gotta charge up for that a little bit. Star Hotel. After you. All right, so we have eaten and we're refueled. The wheels are refueled as well. And apparently someone in the hotel asked us to use this now, instead of uh, just pushing the wheels around. Uh, kind of weird after three days. Let us know in the comments what you, what you think about that move. Weird. So currently we're still in the city, but we are actually going to the mountain over there, which you can see in the distance. But next up on the agenda is a waterfall next to a house, which you probably seen in the uh, intro. So let's go there. Now we are at the Cascade de Guerreau. I guess that's what it's called. This is on the way, and the great thing with wheels, we can always change our mind, and we can go somewhere else. But uh, today we're going according to the plan. We have a good timing, and the next stop will be. What will be the next stop? Montchamp. 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 So we'll hopefully have a good view from there, 
if it's not cloudy like the last time when we were there but the views in any way are stunning so let's get there Hopefully we can see the view before the clouds cover it, but it looks like it just like last time we were there. Maybe we won't make it, but I hope we will. Fingers crossed. Like a bows. Oh, let me try as well. Whoa. Perfect. <laughs> Path looks more and more treacherous. It's really steep down there. Wow. Oh, last time it wasn't that scary, right? Looks like we are on top of the world. <laughs> so we go higher, all right. Oh, you can really feel how chilly it's getting. I'm happy I br brought another hoodie with me. <laughs> All right, just a little bit more to the summit, but already here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let's get up there. So we are leaving our wheels here and to the top we'll make it the old-fashioned way <laughs> just using our limbs. This is where we came, on mono wheels. Right, so one show is truly spectacular and that getting here is also spectacular but we have one more thing on the menu which is a chateau which is a castle and hopefully we can get there before sunset so we could catch a beautiful sunset in that location but uh, we don't know if we can make it so we'll try I mean <laughs> you just walk out of here and then you have this view Wow, this is spectacular, absolutely mesmerizing.
are going through a path where there was a burnt forest. You can see still a lot of black trees here, without any leaves, but uh, slowly nature is recovering. I guess it's already all right, but uh, it's just so interesting to ride around here. Now we're getting onto a bit of a scenic off-road path, so that's really cool too, even closer to nature. Now on the way to the Sunset Castle. This is not the best part of the road because this is a more high-speed road uh, with traffic, but uh, it will try to go between 40 to 50 kilometers an hour and I think we'll be there in no time and hopefully without any careless drivers. But with drivers, it's really not too bad here. It's actually much more humane than in, in Poland. I mean, it's not even a comparison, really. <laughs> There is Chateau Neuf, Ville Vieille. I guess that's what the name of it is. Uh, we're leaving the wheels here. I'm just trying to go a little bit up this path to do a bit of nice content of off road riding, but that's where we're going. All right, so last time I was partially pushing the wheel up and... Uh, ooh. But this time I'm really not feeling it as the terrain gets super difficult there and it's not really rideable. So just leave the wheel here and go by foot to see the views. Oh, so quick. Look, with enough imagination, this entrance has a phallic shape. I 
I think that's the most amount of wrong way walking clips ever in any video. There, I will do that. Yeah, right there. It's hard to believe that a while ago, hundreds of years ago, this used to be inhabited by people and like actively used. Walking in the ruins. Wow. Now oh, that's a view if I've ever seen one. <laughs> savage. It's super savage. Oh, sadly no sun. Maybe we'll go. No, I think there's just too much clouds for the sun to peek through. So I guess these and uh, a lot more <laughs> a lot more places you can check out with Mono Nice Tourism on an electric unicycle. And now we can just go a little bit further to the edge of the castle ruins. Walking, not used to it. I guess on this insanely epic spot it is time for me to say goodbye here in this video so if you're still here leave a like on the video subscribe to see more content like this and I'll see you in the next video Wow Yeah, 360 view all around. There's the sea. You can even see a poo poo pit. You can make a big poo poo here. Poo poo pit. You lovely fellas. <laughs>